So the new Z21 XL, the XL's for it's a little bit bigger. It's 21 feet, two inches, seven feet, 11 across the beam. Just a massive front deck. I mean, I think they added that length to this front deck looking at it. I mean, it's just a, it's a lot bigger. You know, my old boat, I'm gonna say was probably right up in here. So they moved the seats back. They made the back, I think, just a little bit smaller, maybe reduced that by three or four inches, moved a little bit of weight towards the back. That's probably the biggest difference that I can see as far as the size of the boat comparing it to my you know, 2021 Z21. Uh, I still got it with a 250 Mercury Pro XS four stroke, just an awesome, awesome motor. I've got it rigged out with you know, two eight foot blades. I'm just an eight foot guy. I know they run 10 foot blades, some people do, but I like getting underneath stuff. I've got a 10 inch Atlas hydraulic jack plate. I really like that jack plate because it's all contained. It's a really neat aspect of that jack plate. There's no added pumps up here in my boat. You know, it doesn't take away any storage. I can tell you guys that the instant I put this in the water, I fish Champlain out of this boat, it's fast. I mean, it's, it's a lot faster than my Z21. I was blown away by how much faster it is. And we will get into that in another video. I'll go through all my speed tests and all that stuff with a, with a stopwatch and just show you guys exactly what it'll do. Rigged out, I've got all my tournament stuff in that. So we're gonna break that down too, also right here for you guys. So if I move back forward, and uh, we talk about the trailer just a little bit. This is kind of a neat feature that they added to the trailer that I really like. They've got a little storage compartment right here that's lockable. And I've just got my wheel chocks right here and I've got a, a jack. I just, I take this board and I have got this right here. So that's how I, I drive my boat up on this right here to change a tire if I ever need to change a tire. I can stick that right there drive that tire up on, change the back tire, or vice versa, change to the other side. So I don't have to carry a jack to jack my boat. And that fits really handedly right in here like this. So that's kind of cool that that fits. And then, you know, just if I ever have to park it at a hotel or a house or VRBO, I've got those right there that fit in there also. So kind of a cool little feature. Doesn't take up any added space in my truck. So now they've moved the spare tire right here. Just a great location. It's got a special locking nut on it that, that only that one locking nut to get it off to keep somebody from, from stealing it. I always order all my boats as a dual console. So I've got a second console at the house that goes with this boat. Literally, it takes five minutes to get it out. Super easy. I took it out before I went and fished that last event. That's the main differences on the trailer. You know, they've added this new uh, non-skid padding to it that I really like, it's real cushiony. It's got an all-welded Galva Shield trailer uh, really protects the, uh, the, the, this really well. You know, most of my boats, I've always wrapped this, but this is like chip resistant. So I've got the 18 inch upgraded wheel kit for it with a black. One thing that's really cool on our trailers this year, it's got the no touch vortex lubrication system. This thing is good for six years or 100,000 miles. So uh, you don't touch it, you don't do anything to it comes under warranty for 100,000 miles, a really cool feature. And you can see right here, we got surge disc brakes on both axles. So many boat companies just put you know brakes on one axle. We've got them on both axles. I think that's a great thing just to help you stop in that emergency when you need to stop. Really cool LED lights that I noticed on it. You know, when you, when you hit the brakes, the little end lights up right here on it. Kind of a cool, cool light cool feature. It does have retractable tie downs. Don't, I mean, that's not something to take for granted, but you know, that's a whole lot better than those old type straps. You know, you just hook it right there to the jack plate. Another cool feature I really like is this right here. It's just a flow right drain plug. So I've got my drain plug. It's right here. It's in, now it's out. That's how simple it is to put your drain plug in. I don't have to get up underneath the boat in a wet parking lot, you know, on your hands and knees and put your drain plug in and out. Also, that's important, like so many lakes, you know, it's mandatory, it's the rule to, to drain all the water for the zebra mussels for the grass. You know, there's e never an excuse. You always should be able to pull your drain plug out with that feature right there because it's so easy to do, just in and out right there. Another thing I forgot up here, I gotta show you up here. This I use all the time, just my step to get up into the boat. You know, it's just two easy big steps and I'm right there into the boat. I really like that a lot. Uh, swing away tongue, just another added feature to help get it into your garage. Uh, you know, you just pull that one pin and it swings away really, really easy. One of the last things I want to talk about and, and so excited about that I've got on this boat that I haven't had in the past 
is this ride height turret. This thing right here that connects to my ghost. This is a little brace, like when you're putting your cover on, you, you have this brace to keep it, uh, just, you know, doesn't put any added stress on it. But this right here, with this dial, I can just move my active target separate from my trolling motor. Man, it was a big deal for me at Champlain. It's gonna be a big deal going forward, guys. It's, I'd have to say it's probably one of the most important things that I'm gonna have on my boat going forward years to come, just being able to move my active target separate from my trolling motor. Now I can put my trolling motor in anchor mode, hold on that spot, and then search with that turret out there, you know, all around my boat, you know, looking for that brush pile, looking for those individual fish. It's a game changer. I'm so excited about having this thing right here on my boat. All right, guys, that concludes everything outside the boat. Now, as I walk up in this boat, you know, you'll notice right here, this is a pretty cool feature that I've got on my boat. It's just a, uh, a hand nut that TH Marine makes. You can take your prop on and off by your hand. So I think it's really important, you know, to check behind your prop. You know, you don't want to have fishing line, you don't want to have grass, you know, that'll eat that seal up. So by having this TH Marine hand nut, you know, it's just super simple. No tools are required. You can just do it anytime you get in and out of your boat. You can tighten it like that. Now my prop's on and off. Super simple. You know, it's also kind of a stabilizer. It takes a little bit of vibration out of the boat or out of the trolling motor. But I've got the Lowrance Ghost. Awesome trolling motor, guys. These things are absolutely bulletproof, amazing trolling motors. All right, so let's get in the boat and let's get started here. So up front, you know, the business end, the fishing end of this boat, how I've got my boat set up, if I kneel down here, I've got an HDS 16 and an HDS 9. I'm running the 16 on my active target. I've got the bottom portion of the screen looking side to side in the back. On my nine, I've got mapping, 2D sonar, and down scan all off the front trolling motor. That's how I've got it set up. In addition to my 16 and my nine, I got my point one right here. You know, my trolling motor is through that, so when I put that in anchor mode, it's really close to my trolling motor. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a very accurate way to get a position lock. You know, you've got the same thing in each unit. This is just one more step to take it a little bit further to be as accurate as I possibly can be when I set a waypoint or when I put that trolling motor in anchor mode. I've got this 16 and this nine on a Bass Boat Technologies mount, guys. Those are awesome. They're must-haves, I'd have to say, because they're so solid, so rigid. I don't have any trouble out of them at all. These power pole buttons, these big buttons, I think those are must-haves. When you're fighting a fish in an emergency, I can just, I can hit that really quick. You'll get trained to where it's at. You can do it without ever looking. These are must-haves. Uh, you know, just there's going to be a few of those that I'm going to go through on my boat as we go through it today on must-have options that I think would be a wise investment when you go to buy your boat. So here's the turret that we talked about. I'm pretty sure that might be a must-have too. It's a really neat, neat feature. There's the buttons right here to control it left, right. You know, I can just scan it with my left foot. I've got a hydro wave right here. You know, you can put in different fish feeding modes and sounds and all that stuff kind of a cool cool feature this right here is a must-have guys i mean like it's a really really high on my must-have list that's a that's a troll tamer that just you kick that out of your way with your toe and that just stabilizes that trolling motor why is that a must-have because you know over a year two years three years you know uh, and in rough water situations that secures everything that troll tamer that just locks that down it's not vibrating up and down banging in those waves, you know, wearing out these pins and bushings on your bracket. So it is a must have to me to have in the option list. It's not very expensive, but it'll save that bracket and make that bracket last a long, long time. I really, really like having that. You know, as we move back, one thing I want to, I want to talk about is, you know, there's foam padding underneath this front deck right here. You know, it's just really kind of nice. It's like standing on really plush carpet when you're up here fishing all day. And then you'll notice we got a couple really simple day boxes. I got my screen cleaner in here. You can put your the packages of lures that you're using. We got two of them right here on either side, just small little boxes that, that can keep stuff that you've got to get really quickly. I really like this is a brand new addition. We, didn't, we never had that in any of our boats. We've got two different pedestal holes right here also kind of cool you know if you're in a, in a butt seat standing up you're going to want that pedestal to be in that front hole if you're using a sit down seat you know you'll probably put it in that back hole it's, it, it'll be the perfect distances up here to your ghost trolling motor all right let's move back some of the biggest changes in this boat you know they've added a lot of deck space here they've completely reconfigured my storage it's just amazing like when i open this right rod box 
This thing's full of stuff. I've got 23 tubes right over there. Really, really cool. I've added TH Marine lights. There's also built-in lights. You'll notice this, this sensor right here that's down underneath the rod box that also come on. So I've got a lot of lights right here for those early mornings, nighttime fishing. Uh, and you can see I've got a ton of rods in there. That thing is full of them. There's actually 23 tubes right up there. Really a big, big rod locker. Big, deep channels. Uh, another thing they changed on this boat, they added some depth to this channel right here to help get that water away no matter what angle your boat's sitting in the driveway. <clears throat> it's super dry, guys. I haven't had one drop of water in any of my rod boxes yet this year, and I've been in some monsoons. I really like our latches. Like, when you look at our latches on our boat, you know, that's the locked position. Now you can't open it. That's the open position, so that lays flat. And I leave mine open, you know, just most of the time, and I like how that lays flat. You'll notice this big compartment. We used to have three, one up there and two back here. Now we've just got two monster compartments. As you can see, I just, I got stuff everywhere. I got GoPro chesty. I got, a, I've got uh, my face shield, you know, for when it's raining and just tons of tackle, tons of tackle in here. And you got rod tubes up there in the front so you can actually lay a rod on top of this um, if you wanted to. So it's just a really, really neat storage compartment. There are dividers in here. You can see we've got dividers down here to kind of keep things separate. Just a cool feature. We also got bag holders up here on the lids and then magnets down there underneath the lid. And again, it's got the sensors, these light up when they're open, when the power's on, or if it's dark out, you can, see, you can see those lights by those sensors. So here's the uh, starboard rod box. Man, it's just as big. It doesn't have a rod organizer in here, uh, but you know I can still put eight foot rods in here. Uh, I've got my line here. I've got some rubber boots in here for rain and more rods. You know, I just got back from Champlain and uh, you know, you got, I was rigged out for both largemouth and smallmouth fishing. You can see I got a big one ounce jig tied on that rod right there. But, uh, you know, got a throw cushion. This is lit up also, you know, there's lights down here underneath that open up by this sensor. And then I've added, again, the lights from TH Marine. So that lights up this area when I'm working. Here on the back wall, I've got my Sirius Marine satellite radio and weather information right here. I got my Sonic Hub mounted right here and then my active target. It's all mounted right here on this back wall. Uh, really a neat place to keep it. You know, it's very dry, uh, out of the way, and uh, easily accessible, you know, if, if for some reason you ever had any trouble. All right, so moving on, you know, we're halfway back in the boat now. Right here, one of the best features on a nitro is an 86 quart ice chest, insulated. I've got two bags of ice in there, a half a case of water, and there's still tons of room. You know, they, they put a, a, a little sandwich tray over here. I just got some built energy drinks right there. They've got a removable trash can that, you know, you can just go empty all your trash when you get to the gas station. But it is a phenomenal ice chest. One of the best features on the boat, bar none. I love that. I love that. I love that. All right, moving on over here. Another, like, I just think game-changing thing in this boat. Listen to me here, guys, because if you've ever had to work on your boat or do any type of wiring on your boat, it's always at night, it's always after a big rainstorm, and you're laying in the carpet right there trying to get to some wires up under your console. Not anymore. I can do it from out here. I can get to any wires. I can get to any fuses right here. By taking that off, there's my fuse panel all my connections for my Lowrances, everything's right here. So I don't have to get in the wet carpet, don't have to get up underneath there with a flashlight in my teeth. Really a cool aspect of our boat. Just being able to get in here, access the fuses, the wiring, anything right here. I just, man, I love that. It's so awesome. Another cool thing on the Nitro, we've got these two little storage cubbies. One thing I like about it is below there is an actual tray. So if you actually drop a worm weight or a worm, it's not gonna end up all the way back there in the bilge and clog your bilge up. You can take these three screws out at the end of the year, take that out and get all of the stuff that you may have dropped through these uh, plier holes. Uh, I just think that's a thoughtful thing. I don't want a worm to get back there in my bilge pump and give me trouble down the road. Moving on to the storage drawer. This is just a really handy drawer for, you know, I carry a towel. I've got extra sunglasses in here. You know, I've got my fob for my power poles, my backup. Uh, you know, some little cases for uh, 
uh, mapping, all that right there in that drawer, really, really handy, you know? And then also sitting in this, in this passenger seat, I think it's really cool that this seat goes forward. So if you've got a short-legged person, they can scoot that forward and still brace themselves with their feet against that drawer right there, you know, in a rough water situation, or if you got somebody tall, you just scoot it back. It's just a neat feature that that seat goes front and, you know, forwards and backwards. Also, when you look right here, this is where that console mounts. These are the plates that cover up the big holes, you know, so you just, if you wanted to unscrew this right here, you can see that is where that big hand nut, when I took that console, that's where that mounts into right there. And then there's two more right here. These are just plates to clean that up when you take the console out. Such a cool feature of a boat, being able to take that console in and out so simply. You could just, you could almost do it every other weekend. You know, if you had a rainy weekend and you wanted to put it in, it's that simple to put in. It's that simple to take out. You know, if your wife's going next weekend and then in the next week you're in an individual tournament, you can actually take that thing in and out so simple. Got a rod rack right here uh, for your storage, a little padding to keep the reels from beating on the uh, fiberglass, a uh, strap. Something that I add to my boat, I put a, a, a 12 volt outlet right here. You know, so for me, I use it for my boat officials. They can hook up the iPad to it. I want constant updates on that score tracker. You know, so I don't get an excuse that, man, the battery's going dead, I can't do it anymore. I said, oh, well, I got an outlet for you. It might also double for you guys. You know, somebody also wanting to charge their cell phone, uh, maybe a GoPro, you can mount a GoPro right there. But I put an, an added outlet right there, kind of a cool feature. I also like in our boat how we've got these drain plugs. You know, I fish some really big water and it's important to have lots of drains. So if this all fills up with water and big, big waves, you know, out on Lake Erie, that water gets out of this cockpit area quickly. Uh, you know, speaking of that, this boat comes with two bilge pumps. It's got an automatic bilge pump. It's got a 1600 gallon bilge pump. Uh, really just neat that I've got two bilge pumps. I got a backup to a backup. So, you know, I don't ever have to worry about, you know, big rain events, you know, getting the water out. That's a good safety feature to have. When you get to the command center, man, I just pretty cool area right here in this whole boat. You know, uh, just starting off with the simple stuff. It's got tilt steering, really cool. Uh, I've got remote trim for my uh, motor and jack plate on each side, the blinker style. Those are options uh, you might think about getting. Uh, you know, I got two Lowrance 12s, again, mounted on the Bass Boat Technologies mount. That is just a super, super solid mount. I love that mount. I've got SmartCraft gauges back behind here, but then I have those integrated with the vessel view link right into my unit. So I can tell you exactly the temperature of my motor. I can tell you how many hours are on my motor. I can tell you the exact amount of fuel that I have left all in my units through that SmartCraft gauges and that vessel view link. Uh, really, really, I'm gonna say that's a must have. Get that vessel view link, hook them up to your Lowrances. I think it's really, really important. Now, when you get over here to the, uh, to the touch pad right here, everything is controlled by this touch pad. A really cool feature that Nitro has on the live wheels is they have just a, a first fish. So you hook, you touch first fish, and what that does is it fills those live wheels up and then once they're full, it automatically changes them over to recirculate. Really a cool feature. You don't have to be worrying about it. I just hit first fish, go back to fishing. It takes care of that live well. When I go to put a fish in the second live well, I hit first fish on the, uh, the port live well. Really, really a neat feature. Other things that I have over here, uh, it's got a fan in the whole boat. You might hear that running. It's on auto right now. So the temperature in the, in the compartments is different than the temperature out here. So it circulates the air to keep it all the same, thus cutting down on condensation, you know, keeping your boat dry. Bilge pumps, fills, recirks, all that is controlled right here with this touch pad. And it also dims at night if you're a nighttime fisherman. I got a little light right here that tells me when my auto bilge is on, you know, that's kind of a handy feature. I think a great feature, you know, on our boats also is just, you know, I can open and close both live wells right here. I don't have to stick my hands down in the water to put a plug in there in cold water situations. Uh, I can drain them, you know, standing outside my boat. I don't have to climb up in my boat to drain my live wells. I can open and close those live wells right there just, you know, with the remote uh, valves that, that they put right here in the gunnel of the boat. Then you'll notice, you know, we talked about the front, how you get in. Well, this is solid. There's, there's a plate here underneath the console. 
I mount a tackle web right there. And you know, in that tackle web, I've got, you know, added glasses, got a GoPro mount, I've got my sunscreen, um, you know, just anything that I need at my hand's notice, I keep right there in that tackle web. To me, that is like a, that's like a $12 must have because it's just so easily accessible right there. I just like that being right there. Uh, I've got another tackle web mounted right here on the side just to keep super glues and all that kind of stuff. And then I've got my controls right here for my power poles. I put them right here because if I'm ever standing over here fishing, I can also get to those very, very easily. Uh, moving over here, I've got a cell phone holder on a ram mount. That's a standard feature on the boat. Really, really a cool thing. You know, I can just take my cell phone, mount it right there like so holds it it's out of out of isn't that a great picture of my wife and son it's out of the way then right here next to it is two usb charging ports so i can hook my cell phone up to it i've got this one going into some gopro batteries i can plug that in right there uh, and charge those gopro batteries i've got a hot foot down here a really th marine hot foot it's adjustable i can pull that pin right there and pull that back or forward however i need it and then when i talk about the seat I've got the cruise air seat. This is a neat seat, guys. The back airs up. See how the back, so like when you're sitting there really going across the water, I've got a ton of back support. Look how far forward that is from the position if it goes to the, to the back. So now I let the air out and it goes all the way back. There's one other air chamber that airs up the bottom. So now I'm airing up the bottom. It's actually raising me up so you can adjust the bottom. You can hear that and it's amazing. Like it's you can, I mean, it's just super, super cushiony for those rough waters. I just, I love this seat. And again, this seat is adjustable like that other seat. It's got a big slide on it, go front and backwards uh, to get close to that console when you need to. So moving from this console area, I gotta talk about one of the greatest features, one of the new things that they changed on this boat is this right here. Now I've got a center storage compartment, just like that right there, I've got my, Football Cade made me number one dad, number one fan, kind of cool. Uh, cell phone holder right there. Um, really a neat feature, but watch this. Let's say, hey, your wife's coming along, your kids are coming along. This is a must have option, guys. You've got to have this. You'll see this silver bracket right here. This slides right there in that, and this snaps on here. So now when I have a third person in my boat, four snaps, let me get this one snap right here. Now I've got a really good seat here in my boat for a third person with a backrest and I can still use my center storage compartment. So that is, in my opinion, a must have option that you've got to add to your list just because it's so easy you never know when you're gonna have a third person. You don't want them sitting on that. But then when it's just two people fishing or you're out there by yourself, it's nice to be able to take this off. Super simple, just like that right there. Take this out. And now nobody's stepping on your cushions. You got a big step fighting fish, getting back and forth. That's a must have to me, guys. Moving on, right here, we've got net storage. This is a slot right here that the net goes down in behind that seat. You strap it in right here. I don't carry a net. I, I use it for my push pole. So I've just got my, uh, my super stick push pole right here. Really a cool push pole. I can extend that out. I can put it back in right there. Just a great place to keep my push pole. It's always in my boat in case I ever need it. Let's hope I don't because if I'm using it, that means I probably got stuck. But that one fits perfectly right there and I can strap it right there in there. Got your measuring board right here for fish, just real simple, always right there accessible. Let's talk about another great feature on nitros. I love their live wheels. They make some of the best live wheels. Two independent live wheels, four pumps, got two 500 gallon fill pumps, two 750 gallon recirculating pumps, insulated 19 gallons. they has got a baffle system here that keeps the fish from jumping out, protects their head. You know, so much of the damage comes from when rough water hitting this stuff up here. With this baffle system, a fish's nose is up against the wall and this keeps it from sloshing. Really, really cool. 
Boat comes standard with oxygen generators in each live well. Just a good, good live well system in our boats. I'm super proud of it. It's got roto molded, rounded corners. It just protects your fish as good as any live well possibly can. All right, so we moved to the back deck. Man, it's a big back deck. You know, I, it's plenty big, you know, to move around back here. Uh, you know, you got your rod straps right here. You've got your boarding ladder right here. You know, just a great safety feature. I, I really like that. Um, but let's talk about these compartments back here. So I love the fact that they open to the back. I can get in this compartment from outside the boat. I can get into this compartment from inside the boat. But another thing that I truly like about our boats is, you know, this is molded for 3,700 boxes. I got a lot of camera gear in here right now, but they lift out. So if I need to get to this battery over here, get to the battery charger, it just makes it so simple the added space here to be able to work, the added light to be able to work in there by being able to take these out. Um, you can also mount a small toolbox underneath them if you ever want to keep a small toolbox underneath them. But you know that's a great thing about both these you know aft storage compartments. They're just they, they 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 lift out. You know over here if you look in this one, I've got all my plastics. I want you guys to see this boat is loaded down, so when we put it on the water, you know it's got a bunch of stuff in it. But again, I've got you know added access to the wires to batteries you know just to make it a little bit easier when you're having to work on something in the back of your boat all right so when we move to this back compartment you'll notice i've got this bracket right here this bracket is for the major league fishing boat officials a, a stat unit this is how we have wi-fi in all the boats this is how we get reception on those lakes that we really even shouldn't get reception so we open this up right here Cool feature, it's got a little, you know, rope storage compartment here that lifts out. So I carry spare rope, carry a little bit of spare oil, some spare tools. I've got a charging port there for a uh, GoPro, but that lifts out. You can get that out of your way. And you'll see, I've got my Perco switch right here on off just to kill all power to the boat. Really a handy feature if you're trailering. Uh, you don't want your power poles ever going down, just anything like that. Got a spare prop, I think is a must have, you know, to carry a spare prop. I've got my battery setup is awesome. Like it's a, it's for me just you know for me it's a, it's a great great feature, a great must have. I've got three Blue Top 31s, 36 volts right there. Um, those weigh roughly 60 pounds a piece. Just if you guys are wanting to do the math when we start talking about the speed, I've got two size 34s right here. They weigh about 50, a little over 50 pounds a piece. Those are hooked in parallel right there. So that. I do the two small batteries at the time and a half for capacity. So if I'm running both live wheels, running all the electronics, running the power poles, I've got enough capacity to make it through the day. Just an awesome, awesome deal in those batteries. And they just, they last forever. I've also got a little toolbox right here. I just carry some, you know, some basic tools. Uh, another great feature is this lid lifts up. Take this prop out. That lid lifts up so I can get to all my pumps. Really neat. I don't have to take these batteries out. I can get to the pumps, I can get to that bilge area. You know, we talked earlier about a worm getting back in there, something getting back in there, clogging things up. I don't have to take batteries out to get in there. Just move this prop out of the way, that lid opens up and I can get in there, really, really cool. Um, you'll notice over here on this side, I've got a breaker for the trolling motors. Just if you ever got it clogged down in, in, a, in a rope or, or something like that, you know, and it tripped your breaker, you can just reset everything right there. I've got two power pole pumps right there. I can get to those to fill those reservoirs. I've never, ever had to do that in my career. A must have, guys, a must have. I love that thing. That is the power pole charge over there in that corner. So what that does is it takes, this thing's got a monstrous alternator on it. I think it's 40 amps. Don't quote me on that. I should look that up, but it's a 40 amp alternator on that motor. That's such a big motor that when my cranking batteries are charged, that power pole charge takes that current and puts it all in my trolling motor batteries. Also, I can take, and if I ever need to jump my cranking batteries, but on my screen, on my Lowrance, I can actually jump from my trolling motor batteries over to my cranking batteries if I ever need to get a jump. I can control all that on my Lowrance. I can also control it on my phone by an app. Another great thing that I love about that power pole charge is when I plug it in at a hotel, I can look in my phone to see if my batteries are still plugged in, if they're charging. I can put priority to trolling motor batteries, to cranking batteries, or, or to right in the middle. It is just a, a, a 
a revolutionary marvel, I think. Just that's an awesome charger. I've been running it now. This is my second year. The thing is bulletproof. I just thoroughly impressed with that power pole charge. I would have that on my boat. Guys, that's a must have for me. It's that good of a charger. It works that great. So think about that when you're ordering your boat. All right, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in there. I think I've got everything covered right here. Uh, you know, I didn't talk about this plate. Um, there are, there's a days and a time coming, you know, 15, 20 years down the road, you may need to change a pump. You can take this plate off right here and get to the pumps on the sides of those live wheels. Same thing with these back compartments. You can take those plates off with six screws and a screwdriver and get to those plates to change a, a, a live wheel pump if you ever, ever had to. I've got a point one right here running my units. I've got my Sirius XM satellite radio, antenna weather radio right here. And then right here, I've got just a NOCO uh, plug. That's where I plug in my battery charger just when I get home. I don't have to open any compartments. I can just plug it in right there. You know, one final thing I want to talk about is this, you know, RMP anchor light right here. Just a cool anchor light. I can turn that on. I don't have to get my stern light out. You know, I just, that's always a, you know, who wants to stop on the run in when they really should put it on? You know, take the time to put it in. It's always right there on my power pole. That's an added feature I really, really like to have, guys. Super simple to install. Uh, just a stern light on top of your power poles. All right, guys, so there's my boat, my 2022 boat. I couldn't be any more proud of it. It's the most awesome boat I've ever had. 